Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Frey, and I'm bringing you a 50 and 5 domination here on Overflow for on Black Ops for the Nintendo Wii U. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay because it actually happens to be one of my best gameplays so far. And the reason I say so far and not my best gameplays thus far is because of the fact that I've actually been doing extremely well, even better than this. But you know, five deaths is pretty pretty cool actually for 50 kills. You know, um, I just got to mention earlier I actually played. And I got a, I think a 64 and 7, and I was so happy, especially because my AGR actually managed to get more than one kill before getting destroyed. It actually ran around for I think a minute or two, spawning at the other team. I was freaking happy about that gameplay, it's particularly particularly because it actually was my highest kill game so far. Unfortunately, though, Theater decided to be like a total bitch and not record anything after the game so I was really just pissed off at the game after that I kept playing and eventually got a 78 and I think 10 which I'm all for that you know and then I started thinking to myself oh my gosh if you got if you didn't record this I swear to you theater I will find your server and I will kill you but uh no he actually did record it so I'm pretty chill now about that fact that it didn't record my other previous game which I mean was extremely good but eh, who cares I got this one I mean I don't I won't get to see how many kills my AGR actually got but you know I got even better gameplay but anyways I'm less about that gameplay more about this one I really like this one because uh you know I never I hardly ever end up playing on overflow or doing very well because you know it's usually rarely picked it's usually slums and hijacked and express that's picked the most often i don't know why but it, it seems it is uh now this game i was playing against a bunch of people who may or may not be very good i'm not very sure but i pretty much pwned them and i was very happy about that and you know i did pretty good considering i was doing very bad earlier because you know i couldn't get a hang of the control my GDR has been rising steeply, you know, I used to be a 1.20 something and you know finally I got a hang of the controller on Friday and now I just, what, three days later? Technically not three days later. I already got, well technically no, I got a hang of the controller Thursday. But yeah, you get, you get what I, I'm trying to say is, you know, I, I pretty much got the hang of the controller and I've been doing way good. Um, you know, I've um, been trying to get swarm. Unfortunately, it's difficult. It's really difficult. I've gotten dogs. You know, I tried to get dogs on, a, on, and I failed. And I was, you know, in a Skype conversation, so I wasn't really focusing on the game too much. Where I was focusing more on the conversation that was going on. Uh, and then, you know, I stick on my Astros, and I go for dogs and I get dogs. You know, and I join another game. It's it's mid game. I I decide to leave that. I join another game. It's it's mid game, but it's it's not about to be over. I get dogs again, sweet. Uh, you know, I got warship twice. I've, I've got it in dogs twice. Um, both two times I actually attempt. I really attempted it with my astros. My astros are awesome, by the way. I don't know if about how how this works really, but my astros seem to pick up noise and just the slightest bit of detail and sound way better and clearer than they do on PS3. Even without the amp amplifier, which is, I don't know, pretty weird. Uh, I don't use awareness, but I'm looking forward to using it. I just don't have any unlock tokens right now. Um, but yeah, I've been doing extremely well, and I haven't been able to get swarm. Actually, was close to swarm once, I think probably four or three kills away, but I ended up panicking and fell to my death. Yeah, that's right. I was playing on plaza and i was in the little garden uh where it overlooks the road and uh the big i, I don't want to say ocean because technically it's in the middle of like a city so uh i guess it's, it is part of the ocean so yeah it overlooks the ocean and i panicked because this guy passed right by me trying to kill my teammate whether he saw me or not because he was actually on the little ledge as well and then he turned around and he went after my teammate and i panicked so badly that i actually ended up falling back if I had, like, I don't know, gotten my shit together and killed the guy, I would have been, like, what, two, three kills away from Swarm, and finally I would have gotten one. And I know, personally, that Swarm would kick ass on Plaza. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. But, uh, I'll still keep trying. You know, I'm barely low 55. I still got our Prestige, so I'm gonna try to get Swarm before I actually do Prestige. I don't know if I'm gonna Prestige without a Swarm, because, you know, you, you don't unlock it until you're really far ahead. So we'll see how that goes. But, uh, 
you know. I've been doing very freaking good, which is really making me happy. Because honestly, I I went from a two, oh wait, a one point twenty something to uh currently now a two point twenty something, and it's currently rising every single game, which is great. I have stopped sniping and using shotguns. Uh, I think probably the purpose behind that is because I haven't really been playing just for fun. I've been playing trying to get uh, kill streaks, particularly swarm, recently. Uh, so that is unfortunate, but I, you know, I can get the sniper and the shotgun pretty early on in the game. Even this gun, pretty early on in the game. I think the only guns I'm gonna miss are the scorpion and. Hmm. The scar. I definitely like the scar. I used it a couple games, and I I have a three point kitty on, three point something kitty on it, which is pretty cool. Um, but enough about stupid numbers. I really don't mean anything, you know. I've been doing. I'm just happy that I'm actually doing much better than I was previously. You know, when I, I when I first played Black Ops on Wii, I felt like I wasn't gonna be able to control it, and I couldn't. And then eventually I got used to it, and. I ended up with a three point something kitty R before shortly before I got deranked and couldn't play on that account anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty freaking happy. I think I've got I think I can play on this way better than I could ever play with the CCP, so definitely pro control is a way to go if you want to be a pro. You know, I I you know with my other gameplays that I I'm hoping to post soon, you can see my rapid and quick precise movements. Which uh, usually results in me not dying when people, you know, shoot at me before I shoot at them. Although, you know, it happens very often to me where I shoot them and they turn around and kill me, which is complete bullshit. But, uh, you know, I've been <laughs> doing really good and that's just making me really, really happy. And it's just sure damn cool. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but uh, I'm officially 18. You know, this is my first commentary as a legal adult. Now I can legally consult... Con consent to many things that I couldn't previously without you know adult supervision or whatever like uh, you know next time I created an Xbox Live account I can actually make it with my real age because I don't have to have my parents or someone who's over 18 who's legally a guardian of mine to you know link their account to mine or whatever so they can manage what the hell I'm looking at I think I don't know I could try to create an Xbox Live account because apparently that's how you can play uh, I think it was Arkham City on PC, I got it for PC. It was really cheap on sale. Pretty. pretty I loved the game, by the way. It was a really amazing game. Um, and I think I had to create a live account. And this is just so stupid. I put in my real age, and oh, you're 17? No, no, no. Even the game, even though the game is rated M, you still need an uh, adult. You know, to link. Uh, you know what? I, I just created another account, and yeah. Now I can legally create Xbox Live accounts, which is great. Um. I can legally consent to many things. Now I can legally be uh, jailed as an adult, which which sucks. But I can legally own a gun. I can now smoke if I'd like to. I could visit strip clubs, I believe. Mm. I, I used to visit them in GTA all the time. <laughs> Fuck age and laws, you know. Um, and you know I could do a lot of stuff now that I can legally sign contracts which should be fun you know when I when offered a a partnership or whatever or whatnot uh, yeah I could do a lot of stuff now that I couldn't do previously which is great because now that I'm technically legally an adult I can drive at any time of the day as well you know I can do a lot of stuff without having my parents consent or supervision or what or whatnot so that's really great and you know happy birthday to me happy birthday to my adulthood you know there goes my childhood. It was nice meeting you for 17 or technically 18 years. And now adulthood and onward, right? So you know, now I just got the rest of my adulthood life. I'm technically still feeling like a kid, and I probably, hopefully, will feel like a kid for a while. But you know, I got a lot more responsibility ahead of me, and I got to step up to that game. I can legally join the military now. So if if there is a war. I might get drafted. I, I'm going to be in school though, so hopefully that does not ha end up happening. And by that does not end up happening, I hope there's not another war. Not that I, I get drafted. But, you know, I, if there is one, I wouldn't like to get drafted anyways. Anyways, uh, okay, so yeah. That, oh, but I my full support to our troops. I, it's amazing what they do over there. Defend our country. 
Anyways, uh, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and like the video. Uh, you know, subscribe for more content from an 18-year-old Wii U commentator if you'd like.